guys, we're here checking out the Chevrolet V8s, a Formula Drift with Scog and Dicky. I'm here with Danny George in his 2002 Mazda Miata. He has an LS3 engine inside. Danny, tell us all about your LS3 motor. Well, uh, so far, what we started out with was a brand new LS3 block from GM. Uh, it was sent over to Molinex Racing Engines that inserted a SCAT engineering uh, stroker crankshaft, rods, pistons, some badass stuff, 416 cubic inch, and uh, Trick Flow hooked us up with some of their Gen X 255 heads. Amazing flow. Uh, it's not just an off the shelf ported head, it's completely new casting. Uh, the angles, valves, everything's completely different than a stock GM head. So, this is uh, my awesome package of a motor, and uh, Nitrous Express gives us the uh, nitrous kit to take that to the next level and throw from 50 to uh, a 400 shot basically of nitrous depending on our application and what track we're at, so. Boom. Awesome, Danny. Thank you for sharing us your engine package. Hey guys, we're here with June Meng. He's got a 1990 Nissan 240SX with an LS7 base engine. June, tell us about what all you've done to this thing to be drift ready. Uh, so during the off season, we actually took the car, uh, actually the motor, to Duttweilers and had them build a new motor for us with crower cams, uh, Brodex heads, and uh, obviously running the Holly intake manifold uh, with their EFI unit and uh, the throttle body as well. So running a lot of Holly products on the vehicle, um, injectors, and also we have a uh, NOS uh, with the vehicle here. So uh, definitely uh, a great um, setup to have uh, plenty of power for this season. And it's pretty much equivalent to like LS7 uh, platform um, pushing 1125. Uh, so uh, it really helped with uh, Vortex Supercharger uh, to really get that power band up this year. And uh, yeah, I mean, amazing car. Um, Bink Industries and Fullerton, California did an amazing job just putting everything back together and uh, getting it ready for round one uh, this year. Excellent, thanks June for uh, sharing us all the details on your motor. Hey guys, I'm here with Matt Field. He's got a Nissan 240SX S14, and he actually has a pretty wild little hybrid LS setup. His base block is actually an LQ9. Matt, walk us through your motor here. It's basically an LQ9 block, which is out of a truck, cast iron, and they say the cast iron blocks are the only way to make real boost. So we were able to crank up the boost compared to our LS3 aluminum block, and we have a Vortec YSI supercharger. It's pumping like 18 pounds of boost. Uh, we use all like CX racing, throttle body, valve covers, all that good stuff. Aeromotive takes care of the fuel system because we're running it on E85, actually Ignite E85, so it's, uh, it requires a crap ton of fuel and these aeromotive stuff are actually able to deliver and, and make the power that we need. It really, I don't know what it makes at the crank because we just put it in the car, but it made 901 to the wheels with nitrous. So it's a, it's a gnarly beast for sure. Thanks Matt for walking us through your motor today.